Hi friends, welcome to another unboxing. This is Fluffy Philosophers are pawing at your door. Let the magic in. Here we are. Isn't that sweet? What a beautiful thing to meet you when you open the box. A very glamorous kitty. We've got all the element alchemical symbols there. Spirit Cat's Oracle Deck. Check it all out at Nicole PR, I hope I'm saying that right, dot com. And she included this little kitty talisman. I'm going to cherish that. That is too cute. Oh, look, both sides, a kitty on a moon. Oh, this is really sweet. What a nice little addition to have. I love it. Well, let's keep it right here while we're unboxing. Now, kind of cool looking paper with the, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, corrugated effect there. Okay, so here we have the Spirit Cats, a 48 card oracle deck. Nice cardboard box, nice little square size. Forty-eight inspirational cards to ignite your intuition. Spiritcatsdeck.com, copyright 2016, and I just uh, happened to see it the other day. I uh, don't know where I've been all this time that I just now found out about this deck. Alrighty, so let's move the camera in a little closer. We can go pretty close because these are um, square and they're not tall, which is kind of cool. I love the coloring, at least on this cover cat. So we have a nice sturdy cardboard box. It's got finger cutouts to make it easier to open. The bottom of the box has the same motif as the little chip she included. Hmm, I don't know if I... Let's leave that right there. Okay. So this is a deck. It's got 40, how many did we say? 48 cards. They're all these sort of uh, stylized cute kitties. And each card has on the back a keyword and a thought. Intuition, meet ghost kitten. She is the light within us that helps us, helps to guide us through our life always beckoning us to enter our inner world, to dig deep, to meet her there. If you are quiet, you can hear her whispering to you. So they give you, you know, a keyword, the name of the particular cat that's being shown there, that's Ghost Kitten. Very sweet. Oh gosh, isn't that one pretty? That is Adventure, meet Lion Mew. He is an adventurer, an explorer. Yes, he really does capture that essence. I love cats. I have a collection of cat decks. I also love dogs. I have three dogs and I don't own any cats currently, but I do love them. Look at this sweet kitty. Imagination, meet Zed. Oh golly, look at that Siamese kitten. Love Siamese cats. Cuddles. Meet Fluff. She is patiently waiting for you to stop your super important get it done task and give her lots of love. Well, that's the way Siamese cats are. They will demand your attention. They're very personable. 
Great, great picture there. Here's another sweet one. Look at the moon on her forehead and the, the decorative collar there. Pretty. Catalyst, meet Luna. She may seem a little ominous, but do not worry. She is the catalyst. The kitty form of the philosopher's stone, the magical alchemy that metaphorically turns lead into gold. So there is the catalyst. Oh, how cute. Look at that one. Now there is no book with this deck. You don't need a book because the information is here on the cards. Mischief, meet Jasper, a playful little trickster known to pounce on your toes while you're sleeping. I think we've all had a kitten like that. Very cute. Love the little flowers coming out of the tips of his ears. I guess if you can hear my canaries, you can understand why I don't personally have any cats right now, because I have birds and I just don't want to take that chance. No matter how sweet they are, they're going to find a way in there to get them. There's a little silhouette of a cat in a tree. Solitude. Meet Lily. She, content, she sits contently in the center of the sky. Very sweet. I'm not sure how I'll use these. I guess you could use these as clarifiers in your uh, readings. I just kind of got them because I enjoyed the artwork. Wanted to play around with them a little bit. What a sweet face. Vulnerability. Meet Shadow. This kitten hasn't had the easiest time. You might see him peeking out of a dark alley. What he really needs is love and nurturing. Okay. Little alley cat there. Ooh, look at this one. I love the beautiful watercolor uh, way this deck is done. So pretty. Flow. Meet Zephyr. She is flexible, flowing, and gentle like a light wind. Yes, she certainly looks that way. Look at the windswept appearance. Precious. Oh boy. It looks like lavender. The, the color of the uh, flowers there matches the color of her eyes. Warrior, meet Mishkin Rough and Tumble. He knows his teeth are sharp and his claws are his prized possession. Okay, here is another interesting little piece of art. Very sweet. Look at that fluffy tail. Seeker, meet Spiral. He is always searching, reaching, seeking, questioning. He even looks a bit like a question mark. Oh, I understand. So that's to made to look like a question mark because he's the seeker. Sweet. Oh, look at this precious face. Unique. Meet Helix. He was always a little different from the other kitties. Embrace the freak within and remember, outsiders are in. Helix. He's got the helix there on his forehead. Ah, here are a couple of twins. A pair, as you would say. Soulmates. Meet moon and mirror, perfect reflections of each other. They have so much to teach each other and so much to learn. Nice. Yeah, look at this one. Focus. Meet Artemis. She is the master hunter. She can focus her attention like a laser beam. That would be a cat here in my house of canaries. Alrighty. Very sweet. Illumination, meet glow. She shines her warm light into our dark places. She illuminates our fears and our shadows, giving us the courage to face them, to unravel them and to bring healing. 
So courage is the message of that card. Love the colors on this one, the yellow and brown. Meditation, meet Chutney. One day after a particularly deep meditation, he began to radiate and float. <laughs> Practice with Chutney and watch your awareness brighten until life itself becomes a moving meditation. Very zen-like kitty, Chutney, the meditating cat. Oh boy. Freedom. Meet Lucy. She is awake even in her dreams. One of her favorite things to do is to fly in a lucid dream. Freedom. Lucy the free cat flying through the air. All she needs is a broomstick. Very pretty. Paradox, meet stardust, the convergence of opposites, the dark and the light, the magician that turns everything on its head. Let the paradox open up our thinking and our perspective. Yin and yang. Very sweet out in the garden there. Mystery, meet Esmeralda, she is the sweet unknown and the allure of endless mystery. There are things that are impossible for our human minds to fully comprehend. These cards are really so sweet. Give me such a calming feeling. They're just precious. Look at this one. Night magic, meet Vespertine, no sleep for the wild, a swirl of creativity and nighttime escapades, pure nocturnal playfulness and mystery. That is the Night Stalker Kitty, huh? Very interesting. Well, she looks like she's dressed for a night on the town, got a little bit of extra eye makeup on there. Cute. Oh, look at this tightrope walker. Balance, meet Vero Tiptoe Sky. She can balance perfectly with an inner precision and assurance. Let Vero help you to see what areas of your life are out of balance and what shifts you can make to return to a graceful equilibrium. Well, that is just too precious. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Wild, meet Samson. He is a shimmering concoction of wildness and strength. He lives perpetually under the full moon. Unleash your longings and join Samson under the moon's wild light. I don't know, these pictures are so sweet. I just wanna take them and make a big collage and hang it on my wall. I may just do that. Play, meet Pippa of the Dream Circus. Some kitties come straight out of the imagination to remind us to play. Here is to a moment of dancing, twinkling toes and laughter. Playfulness. Cozy home, meet Shrine. He loves to curl in a fluffy ball of appreciation and take in the calm, cozy expanse of his home. Create a sanctuary of peace and inspiration. Let go of objects that don't make you happy. Such a talent these artists have. Can you imagine painting 44 different cat cards like this. Where do they get the inspiration and the ideas? I just really don't know. Each card is prettier than the last. Threshold, meet Sage. She is the queen of the threshold. In or out, out or in. She lingers right at the borderland between worlds.
really sweet. Resilience, meet golden. He really knows how to absorb the sunshine even after some rough patches. He has faced the lonely, hungry alleys, losing those he loved through both chance and betrayal. Another resilient alley cat there. Beautiful, look at that picture. Awesome. Passion, meet Ember. She is the light blazing inside our being. She is our fire, our drive, our fuel. She is our very life force, yearning and stretching in the direction of our love. Passion, great color for a passion, kitty. The road less traveled. Meet Silvio Silvermaw. You won't find him on the well-worn paths of habit and normalcy. If you brush away the spider webs and circle around the giant trees, you will find Silvio wandering down a path with no paw prints. The road less traveled. Relaxation. Meet Molly like a cloud. She is the embodiment of that luscious state between purring and sleep. Molly understands the healing magic of stretching her paws, arching her back, letting out a long mew, then settling into a cozy circle of softness and rest. Another kitty in a jungle-like garden. Nature, meet Leaf. Each day he slips outside to meander between the ferns and flowers. He visits his secret spot where the sun filters down through the leaves in ever-changing shards of light that dance on his fur and warm his soul. So enjoying nature. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the card that I received, the little bonus. Let's see here. So I got a smaller version, and here is the standard version. That's actually her business card, I guess. Well, this must be an image she holds particularly dear and proud of. Very nice. Magic Maker, meet Lynx. She is a sorceress, a shaman, and a witch cat. She is the part of you that creates a magical brew of intention and action that results in manifestations beyond your wildest dreams. Very nice, sweet. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Too precious. Synchronicity, meet Lexi. She passed into our world through the divine nexus of a series of unlikely events. She arrived, arrives at the precise moment when she is needed most. As if answering a silent prayer, she appears with a perfect and sweet antidote to our fears and struggles. Well, that would sure cheer me up. Lead me right out of my fears and struggles. Pretty little kitty like that showing up on my doorstep. Wow. Guardian, meet Lavandrill. She stands sentinel. She can help you guard your mind against negativity, defeatism, and delusion. She is a shield that only allows the words and actions of people with compassionate intentions to reach the depths of your being. Gratitude. Meet Grace. She receives the gifts of the universe with open paws. When she shifts her mind to see what wonders are flowing in, the world glimmers with beauty. Gratitude. Oh, that just really spells gratitude. J. 
generosity. Meet Sapphire, the generous spirit in us all. When it is dark outside, he will always come through for us with his dancing rainbow lights and gentle eyes. Generosity. Unconditional love. Meet Aiko. She is a soft being of pure love. She is a nest of comfort and compassion. She loves unconditionally and embraces fully without exception. Unconditional love. Expression. Meet Chanti. She once kept her ideas and feelings locked away in her heart where no one could see or hear them. It felt safe and secure, but alas, she felt so alone. No one truly knew her. She was longing to come out to play, gathering her courage. She flung open the window in her mind and unlatched the doorway in her soul. What song at long last can you unleash into the world? Express yourself. Beautiful. Courage. Meet Alice. She is small but brave, jumping headfirst down the rabbit hole. Although the unknown may seem scary and fraught with danger, we should always hold faith in the beautiful possibilities and discoveries awaiting us. Courage. Take that leap of faith. Connection. The spirit cats remind us that we are not alone. We are a web of connections. The artist has just really captured the soul of the cats in these cards. They're just perfection. Curiosity. Meet Blaze. With eternal kitten eyes, he experiences each instance of sight, smell, and sensation as if for the first time. Curiosity. Vision. Meet Stargazer. Some say her head is in the clouds, but the view is better from up there. She can see the big picture beyond our normal sight. Very high priestessy. Tending the garden. Meet Gala. Her particular flowers bloom in the sun of her nurturing love and care. In a tucked away corner of the forest, she planted a few precious seeds. Tending the garden. So what seeds are you planting to help make the future better down the road? Purification. Meet Calico, the maven of purification. She shows up in our life when it is time to let go of everything that no longer serves us. Purification. Oh, wow. I love this one. Look at that. Look at the... Just the swirlings. So sweet. Peace. Meet Serena. She will guide you to the sanctuary at the center of your being, the place of stillness in the midst of the river, flowing river of life. She knows the language of forgiveness and acceptance. Peace. That'd make a great world card. Patience. Meet Snugpuff. She transmutes our restless urgency and we and are we there yet complaints 
into an appreciation of what is right now. Let go of everything that will come after this moment and have faith that you are exactly where you need to be. Patience. Majesty, meet majesty. She lives inside each one of us. She is the queen of the vulnerable heart, the yearning soul, and the seeking mind. She helps us to see our majesty, helps us to honor our gifts, hone our skills, and be true to our word. Majesty. Bliss. Meet Camellia. She is in full bloom, radiating delight. When something challenging happens, we often ask ourselves, what can we learn from this? Camellia is here to remind us not to overlook the possibility that some of life's most poignant lessons come from moments of ecstatic bliss. Bliss. And here is the last of our cards. Ooh, I love the green forest. This is one of my favorites. That's beautiful. Trust. Meet Safi. Safi? I don't know how you would say that. Trust begins as an agreement she makes with the flame in her heart. She agrees to let it guide her even when it beckons her deep into the night forest of the unknown. Trust. I love these cards. They are just too precious. And they're a little bit... Uh, a little bit thicker than a tarot deck card would be. They're not flexible. You'd have to kind of shuffle them on the table. And they don't have, you know, the tra traditional backing. They've got this uh, message on the back. So I'm not sure how I'll use these. They could be used for clarification in a reading. The message is very direct. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below where you can pick these cards up if you want them. Uh, they make a nice addition to your uh, oracle cards. And take care. Please like and subscribe and have a pleasant evening. I'll talk to you later. Bye.